Hello, I'm Mark Dowdall, I'm the editor of Seamless Extra. I'm joined here by Inam Kosa, the Chief Technology Officer of Intel Parcel. Inam, you're very welcome. Thank you. Maybe just for our viewers, you can give us a little overview of what your role and what it is you do at Intel Parcel. Thank you very much. I'm uh, uh, the CTO at uh, Intel Parcel. So Intel Parcel is basically an end-to-end e-commerce and logistics solution provider company where we provide the end-to-end e-commerce uh, supply chain automation solutions uh, ranging from omni-channel e-commerce platform and we also provide uh, e smart warehousing and fulfillment solutions. Also we provide uh, smart logistics solutions and uh, we also provide uh, the last mile smart locker delivery solution. We also do provide uh, smart vending solution for uh, smart coffee vendings, ice cream vendings and uh, also for the retail vending as well. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to focus a little bit on the, um, the last mile delivery part, because I think the technological advancements that are happening here are already having a real impact on the customer. From your first-hand experience, can you tell us a little bit about those technical um, advancements and how this is changing the last mile delivery experience? Yeah, actually, I mean, in the, uh, as far as the last mile challenges are concerned, so you need to optimize your last mile uh, delivery uh, challenges, right? So, so the transportation management, the logistic management, and also the, uh, the delivery for the last mile. So typically, uh, when it comes to uh, the logistic, you need to enable your customer to uh, offer the multi-mode logistic solution like proud shipping, like your own internal fleet management, your own uh, shipping services, or by integrating the third-party couriers into one smart logistic platform so that uh, it gives uh, value to your customers so they shall be able to uh, do the mix and match for the logistic mode that they want to choose which can uh, match their customer experience target and also they can match their uh, cost targets as well. So at, as far as the last mile is concerned, so you need to come up with the innovative solution like the smart locker solutions which enable uh, you to deliver to your customers uh, even when they are not available at their home. So that you can place these lockers in, near to the apartments or to some public buildings, some uh, metro station, so that they can pick uh, their parcels and the de delivery at the time of their own convenience. The, also, the smart locker solution, they also solve the problems of reverse logistics as well. So in case of uh, product returns, or, so what they can do is they can just go to these lockers, they can drop their returns into these lockers and uh, the logistic company, they will, they will come and they can pick these uh, returns and they can bring it back to the warehouses. So this reduces uh, your reverse logistic challenges uh, for both for the end customers and also for uh, the e-commerce operators as well. Uh, you mentioned smart lockers. I think this is a really interesting solution. Can you tell me a little bit about the appetite for something like this in this region? Uh, maybe give an example of somewhere I might find these kind of lockers? Yeah, actually in, in this market, I mean, the, the lockers are becoming very popular. So we can see the Amazon and the Noon and the Sheriff DG. So they are already uh, operating these locker network for their e-commerce services. So you can uh, find uh, lockers at many places in the metro station, in the supermarkets and at the different public places over there. Uh, so, so this market is basically getting very much familiar about uh, the use of locker and also uh, the, the, the market dynamics also plays a very important role as well because here you find many people who are busy in, in their work schedules so they, they may not be available at their uh, I mean residences or in their hotels so what they can do is they can just give the order and they can select the nearby locker for the shipments so and then they can come and pick the, their parcel at the time of their convenience so so this market is getting a lot of uh, attraction for these uh, smart locker uh, solutions and the services would you say this market's a little bit more established in in Europe perhaps right now yeah i mean it's, it's uh, but still there is a, is a lot of scope mostly we see that uh, all these lockers are operated by the e-commerce companies by themselves so we don't see a lot of uh, independent locker operator network where they can basically operate the independent networks and they can allow uh, the e different e-commerce company to use their locker network. So this is one of the areas which, which has, uh, I mean, uh, big demand over here. So in this way, you can basically optimize the locker solution. Uh, the known is using their own lockers, Amazon is using their own, Sheriff DG is using, or but maybe their lockers are just 25% uh, or 30% utilized. So much of their capacity is being wasted. So if you come up with uh, a locker operator network, so, and they can onboard various e-commerce companies, so you can maximize the utilization of your uh, locker services over there. So, I guess in terms of 
the company, um, as, as a company that operates in the logistics industry, what's one of the big goals for you over the next 12 months? What's going to be one of your key areas of focus? Yeah, our key areas of focus will be basically, uh, I mean, uh, empowering uh, our e-commerce, logistics, and the fulfillment, and the smart locker solution with the uh, IoT and the AI. So we are going to add a uh, lot of AI-related uh, I mean, feature into our solution. To, in, to better enable the e-commerce businesses and the uh, warehousing fulfillment and the smart locker businesses to operate more efficiently and uh, they can manage their workforce productivity and uh, also they shall be able to do the better forecasting through our AI powered solutions in the coming days. Great, I look forward to seeing what happens. As I said, I do think it's a really exciting space um, right now, especially with everything that's happening in, in technology. Um, Inam, thank you very much for joining thank, me. Thank you very much, Mark. Yeah, and nice I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you.